Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and in today's video I'm probably going to show you the most efficient way on how to speed up your Windows PC and especially if you're more on the low-end side of PCs you're gonna benefit from this even more. So therefore guys if you enjoyed today's video please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel and please don't forget to also check out my other videos I produce here on a daily basis. this would upload so so much and without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. And yeah guys, the big main topic we're going to cover in today's video is virtual memory. If, if you don't know what virtual memory is, don't even stress out. I'm gonna explain it everything here super quick and understandable. Let's just pretend that we're running right now like 4 gigs of RAM on our Windows PC and they're running at 100%. You have maybe Fortnite open in the background and Spotify and yeah, just Windows overall also uses a little bit of RAM. Windows is going to try to put some of these temporary files which are running through your RAM on some virtual memory, which is usually located on your hard drive normally. And yeah, your virtual memory is actually not fully maxed out on default Windows. So therefore I'm going to show you how we can maximize our virtual memory to free up our RAM even more. And this will result in overall a way faster operating system and better performance on Windows 10 or Windows 11. It applies for both guys, don't even worry. And I'm just gonna explain everything super fast and understandable for you guys. And I'm, I'm also, and I'm just gonna explain everything super fast and understandable here for you guys. And now let's get straight into this topic. And yeah guys, what I want you to do in the first place, I'm gonna show you now real quick how you can actually check how much virtual memory you have right now running on your PC because in the end we also gotta double check if it actually worked all properly so therefore why should I not show you. And what I want you to do in the first place is go into a Windows search bar and just simply tap in storage until you find your storage settings. Um, on Windows 10 it's gonna be probably a little bit different but you can just google this for yourself. On Windows 11 you just have to put it in storage. And yeah, once we're in here guys, what we want to do now is actually wait a little bit until this is all here loading and then we're going to click on to show more categories. We're just going to click on it guys and there we can see now system and reserve. For me it's 53 gigs, uh, you can see like a whole entire like storage unit, for me it's like M.2 SSD and we're just going to click here onto system and reserve and then we can see that our virtual memory is only on 7.76 gigabytes. And yeah, this is not really like too bad, but we can get way more and I'm just gonna show you how. We're gonna first of all close this window here and now go into our Windows search bar again and type in advanced until we find advanced system settings. Just simply open it up and then we can see it now. System properties and then we're gonna go onto advanced. It's already like opened here and then we get performance, visual effects, processor scheduling, memory usage. Super important. This is what we're looking for. So we're just gonna click onto settings and yeah, once we're in here in this new window guys, we're just gonna go into advanced again and yeah, Guys, then we see our virtual memory and you can see for me it's 7,936 megabytes but we can do way more so therefore we're gonna click on to change and first of all make sure that we're gonna take the check here out out of automatically managing page files yeah this is something we don't want and yeah just select like your main system hard drive which is for me my C drive and then we're gonna click here on to custom size and yeah now it's like a little bit more complicated guys we gotta pull up our calculator real quick because I gotta explain something one gig of RAM is usually one 1024 megabyte and what windows themselves are even saying that the minimum size you should use uh, for virtual memory should be 1.5 times what you have right now as installed RAM. So for me I got 16 gigs of RAM so I'm gonna put in 1024 megabytes times 16. So we have already 16,384 and this um, we're also gonna multiply by 1.5. So we have like the minimum size which should be for me 24,576. So we're just gonna copy it and put it into our initial size. And then we also have the maximum size and um, Windows themselves even said that this should be maximum three times as big as our RAM. So we're again gonna type in 1024 times 16. So we pretty much have like our normal RAM and now we're gonna multiply it by three. So we have 49,152. And this is what we're gonna put in as our maximum guys. And it's literally that easy. For the initial one, your normal RAM times 1.5 and for the maximum, your normal RAM um, times three. Let's just say we have like four gigs of RAM, the same math guys, yeah? 1,024 megabyte or one gigabyte of RAM times four if we have four gigs of RAM and this times three, then you have like 12,288 if you're running um, four gigs of RAM. And it's literally that easy guys. It's always like the same way to calculate this out. And then we just gonna click here onto set guys and you can see here, blah, blah, blah. Uh, enter a numerical value. Uh, oh yeah, we have to put away here these dots. I'm sorry there. <laughs> yeah, now we put it in correctly guys. Of course no dots, that would be like 24, 576, yeah? That wouldn't even be like a gig of RAM. Of course guys, we have to put away the dots. Then we're just gonna click here onto set, okay. 
And yeah, it's gonna save it all. We're gonna just like close here everything. And now we're gonna, gonna go into our Windows search bar and just type in storage until uh, we find the storage settings here again. And once we're in there, we're gonna click again onto show more categories. And then we should see in a second here system reserve. Yeah, just wait a little bit until it's like fully loaded, you know. And you can see our virtual memory is now 32 gigs, guys. So therefore, yeah, this really does help because yeah, virtual memory is so important if your normal stock memory is like at 100%. Um, I'm usually also running 32 gigs of RAM, so I would say if you're running like 16 to 32 gigs of RAM, it might not be as beneficial as on a PC with like 2 to 4, maybe 8 gigs of RAM. That's like really, really going to help. If you're running 16 as me right now, uh, you can obviously also do this because yeah, it will bring you a little bit. Let's just say you're rendering or something on your PC. This might still be like really beneficial for you. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and actually tell me down in the comment section below if you can notice a difference with window speeds. And yeah guys, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me out so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome, I'm out. Peace. That's it too late. Before, I'll come get inside. Dame go